Nitrous or notrous? Whoa, 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 what? What was the question? This is a little um, reading from my book, Tour Head. Um, if you like it, hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'd be stoked. This one's about the nitrous oxide scene. The nitrous oxide scene has gotten completely crazy on New Tour in the last few years. New Tour meaning dead end company. It's super fun for me to do a balloon now and again, and I'm not criticizing anyone's party ever. But this shit has gotten out of hand. Thousands and thousands of balloons get huffed and dropped, and a multicolored discarded balloon carpet soon emerges on the ground under your feet. The extremely well-organized crews who sell nitrous are equipped with radios, earphones, and microphones. They have a jump on the undercover cops via scouts watching the whole parking lot and establish real getaway plans with designated places to stash the tanks. Sometimes nitrous turf wars erupt like I witnessed in Dallas on summer tour in 2019. Now, I must say, Ferd and I get to know all these guys because we went to a lot of the shows and see them in every shakedown at every city. We all say what's up, smoke some weed, trade a few balloons for our killer weed, talk about the shows or the drive, normal tour shit. I'm here, you're here, we're all here. It's just like that. I like balloons. I always have. So does Ferd. One of the main crew bosses is this big guy who's always super friendly, but it's extremely clear he runs the show. His balloon guys sell it in the lot, his runners bring back the cash from the balloon sellers, and his muscle guards the profits someplace off shakedown. He walks around and supervises and keeps other sellers off his turf. In the middle of shakedown at 3 in the afternoon, him and another quite physically large nitro salesman from another crew got into a super heated shouting match. Face to face, inches apart, yelling about whose turf it is. This isn't normal at a dead show, but this time no happy hippie was saying, Hey kind brothers, can't you all just get along like they normally might? <laughs> Everyone was staying away. Our big balloon friend reached right into the gas or leaned right into the gas intruder's face, reached down, opened his valve, and drained his five thousand dollar tank of nitrous until it was empty, then kicked it over. He stood up tall, looked the guy straight in the eyes one more time and walked off. He claimed his turf as the deflated nitrous tank rolled away on the slight incline of the parking lot, and the evicted gas seller had to go pick up his empty tank with equally empty pockets. It was crazy. Dallas was cool about gas sales, and so was Boulder. The Halloween 2019 shows at Madison Square Garden, the cops did nothing. Just stood there and let it all happen. Three full city blocks directly in front of the venue became nitrous land until 4 a.m. Doobie was all over it. It was fun, and no one had a problem with it. But when we got to Nassau Coliseum a few days later, things were way fucking different. The cops were out in full force, some undercover and some in uniform, making a heavy, heavy presence. Here's how shit was going down on Shakedown. First, the cops let it all start to happen. Then, when they know the crews have made some money, the cops compensate the cash, of course, so why not, why not wait till the guys make some money, right? Then they start to get comfortable. Then the other co undercover cops come lurking in. We had parked the always rent white rental. White cars get pulled or released. That's a fact. One row back from Shakedown like we always do. Ferd and I always like to be close to our weed and our skateboards, so we park right there. After the nitrous crews came out and got hustling, making some money, the cops started the sting. Suddenly, 10 nitrous sellers from one crew would be running full speed, all holding balloons with one guy carrying the tank and six fast as fuck undercovers right on their asses. It takes a purchase before they can bust you because nitrous itself isn't illegal. It is illegal to resell it without a special license. You, s you need to be a doctor or a dentist, and it's certainly not legal to be sold in kitty balloons in a dirty-ass Long Island parking lot. The crews all work in groups in the lot and stay in the little sections they established. Another crew is selling balloons 50 feet away and so on all around the lot. The cops know this and try to get a whole crew all at once because they know they'll all run together to try and get away. One cop goes in and makes a buy, walks a few feet away, and here comes the cop tsunami crashing down on the balloon vendor. A scout yells or whistles and everyone in that crew runs towards the pre, pre the pre-planned escape route. Sorry. <laughs> Three different sets of crews all got busted within 30 minutes. Ten dudes running full speed, holding up sagging pants, one guy cradling a tank like a football, opening the valve and draining it, while everyone else is throwing down packs of empty balloons. A sale, nitrous gas, and possession of balloons with intent to fill all adds up to criminal charges. On the other hand, if you drop your balloons and empty your tank before they catch you, all they have is an empty fucking tank with the serial numbers ground off. The initial guy who did the sale is always busted, but sometimes the others will be let go because they got rid of their shit quick enough. Now, that was not the case for the third crew that ran by us. They all got busted. Ferd and I were standing by the rental, and here came another crew running away. The cops were right up their asses this time and tackled a few guys on the pavement and grabbed the rest by their necks or their arms. One guy got body slammed onto the car behind our rental, denting the hell out of whoever's hood it was. 
the biggest guy, the biggest ass cop knocked the wind out of the kid with the tackle, then told him, you're caught, don't resist, as he held him with his elbows behind his back. The undercover cops took the entire fucking crew in. That was a big bust. As Ferd and I were driving out of the lot, we saw the crew boss of the last crew busted getting cuffed up. It looked at us like he backed his crew and went down with them. That's a solid motherfucker right there. Take the hit with your guys and don't leave them to take the fall. Nitrous is crazy. Nitrous or notrous? That is the question. I like it. What do you think? Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and check out the next one that's coming up right after this. It has more interesting cool shit. And I hope you like it.